Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Daily Fix and we are back playing Medieval Conquest. For some weird old reason this mod has really gotten to me during the last series I had of this one playing as William Wallace and I've missed it. I really have. So we are going to be starting a new series and I'm hoping you're going to be enjoying this. Because it is somewhat similar, but, but, but you'll see what we'll do. Let's launch the game. Let's launch the game. And I would like to know from you. What is it to you that draw you to this mod pack? Because I know what draws me. It's just the, the scale of it. It's been amazing. Now I want to be starting a new game. Of course, again with the lens recruiting system. We'll be playing as a male. We have these suffixes on, and this time we're not starting as a sworn vessel, but we're starting as a prince. And perhaps we make it to monarch, or in the future have a monarch series going, or perhaps even a bandit. That would be fun, right? So we're starting as a prince, and I've chosen... Where are you? Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Ah, oh, so close. There's so many. There's so many. <gasps> but here we are. The Crown of Castile. And I'm satisfied with my choices. Now, I'm going to be choosing this banner. And I'm going to allow myself to be quitting without saving. Because for series, that might be the best. And we're going to be playing as Alfonso. Uh, let me let me do a quick check. Let me do a quick check on my mobile phone because I've typed it. I've typed it together to me. Alfonso. Yes, that's correct. The tent, or just Alfonso X, whatever it is. Now Alfonso X was um, an heir to the king. That was actually the the last king of Castile. So, in this series, we are going to be trying to unite Spain. I think that's that. That's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. I, at least I hope. But we are definitely in, in some dire need of charisma. We have four in leadership. I wouldn't mind having some prison management as well as uh, some persuasion. Agility is really low for my liking. And I wouldn't mind getting that up to nine. Now, we are a hedge knight. I don't necessarily think that we'll be going as uh, an archer in this series. But we're going there one-handed, two-handed, lance, shield. You know, your basic hedge knight. So we want to have some more power strike. I also wouldn't mind getting a few points here in pathfinding just to be a bit faster. Um, do two in inventory management. We will need a guy to keep our soldiers alive. Um, are we a trainer? Are we a trainer? I don't know. I think, personally, because... Oh my god, look at that. Six in shield, six in riding. There's no way we'll be anything other. Athletics, we will do in the very near future. But let's do one more in iron flesh and power strike. And make sure that our pole arm skill... Is somewhat up to the task of um, killing for us. Let's see if we can. Yeah, something like that would be fine. Now, you know, he might not have the most beautiful face. Do we need a beard? I have no clue how Alfonso the Tent looked. Also, this is not an historical accurate series. Because I did gave got got the the common saying in William Wallace that you know you absolutely have the year wrong, and I was like, yeah, I, I probably am, but that was not really the point. So here we go. This is going to be our character, and we are going to be driving home to Lemos. Now, as for the map, not much has changed. Castile. Uh, the, um, it's hard to see, but it does say the Kingdom of Portugal. 
we have the Kingdom of Navarre. And we got the Crown of Aragon. And we have the Emirate of Granada. And we are at war with these guys. So I can't wait to actually get into the fighting. Now, let's let a... Oh, wow, look at that. A great helmet, plus 90. We actually got some amazing, amazing starting weapons. I absolutely love that. Not much on food, though, but we got 16 thousand dinar so let's go in this is actually our own thief yes it is so if we go to reports and character reports it does say our state is Lemos and I'm probably mispronouncing that because I'm not Spanish at all but we got a nice renown we got right to rule at 22 so if something happens to our king our father our lord then we might be able to step in there Holy crap, did I just gain 66 units? I did. I'm not sure if I really want to go all out already and get all the troops. What I do want to be doing is take a quick look at some of the larger towns near us and probably attack these step bandits. So, what do you think of the setup at the moment to see if we can unite Spain um, perhaps we'll be um, a bit greedy and take Portugal in with it who knows who knows although yeah I, I don't think that, well like I said this is not an historical accurate game whatsoever um, let's uh, charge the enemy I uh, do agree on that sir I do agree on that everyone hold this position Infantry, archers, cavalry, and we have the... Sh oh, that is what was wrong with this one. I really hope that the mod creator will come back and <laughs> change that. Because we don't really have a means of having infantry in a shield wall position at the moment. Okay, cavalry going. Let's go first person, yeah? Oh, yeah. We've killed a horse, guys. We've killed a horse. Let's be a bit careful with all of those pointy sticks. And we've just definitely destroyed that man's shield. Let's go. First combat. We got a nice little army there. No companion. Crap ton of money. If we lose, I don't know how I am able to keep that amount going. Yeah, I like to have them off their horses, though. I'm going to keep my infantry as a protector of my of, of my archers. Oh man, we only did 32 damage. That's not much. Oh, again, that horse. <laughs> I would love to have a kill on my name this time. Apart from horses, of course. Come here. I'm actually, I'm also very glad that the heat is finally over here in the Netherlands. Okay, we had a kill. We have a kill. Apparently, there is one more left there. Let's see the backspace option. There's actually quite a few going. So we want to have our infantry get up here, archers go at the back, because there's no point in keeping you there if we're not even fighting over there. But my cavalry is actually quite capable. Hmm. For some old reason I've totally forgotten that I <laughs> was wielding a sword at the moment. But we won, we won our first fight. Although, I have to say, not much glory is coming from that one, though. So, let's capture these guys. Let's uh, go to a Latin men in arms. Oh, my God, look at this. So, uh, let's see. What will be a knight? Well, there should be a troop tree, right? It has been some time. It has been some time. Oh, man, even more Latin knights. Loving it. Loving it, I tell you. Okay, 
enough of that bullshit. Oh yeah, we have to turn this one off. I am not quite enthusiastic about this. But look at this loot. Let's retrieve all the items for now because we do have the space. We did level up. What we need to do is we need to go to camp. We are going to be... Where is that? Mod options. It should be over here, right? Enhanced looting interface. That has to be off. Historical. Yeah, I do enjoy that. There's also something about spawning torches at night. And we're going to crank this up to 75%. So we can actually see our own guys. That would be absolutely fantastic. It doesn't it? Crouch and low walking is off at the moment. I'm quite okay with that. Weapons break. Fine by me. Yeah. Um, this is something I want to be changing. These are the type of factions that can be uh, spawning. And, and they can be really annoying. So I'm going to be placing them up like 320. So we have a bit of base game going. Perhaps even just, just go all out. Um, the Ricket Dynasty start immune. I don't know if this is something we'll be really going into this um, this series, but it will take them a year before they are going to be starting small factions. Now I think it's going to be in, instead of fighting these guys, we definitely want to go back to the capital or one of the capitals, and we need to have some food. We're going to be selling everything automatically if I. I need to be changing the settings though. To 99999. Uh, do not sell the horses without permission of of myself. And I, I don't know why that, I don't know why that that doesn't really work. Um no 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 no. Oh give me that horse back. I want that one asshole one horse. Come here. Uh, there's some butter here. Uh, we're going to be keeping that as a morale thing. Get some more grain. Grain bread. Sausages. Not much food here. Not much food. That's a bit of a of a shame. Guildmaster. Is that anyway? Yes, we can. Um, profit is way too little. Rule. No. I think Velvet is um, somewhat the way to go. But 374, that is not a lot. 212. Oh, man, the decisions we have to make. And I know, I know, this is not something you, you do yourself. But I am, I am doing that stuff. Because we'll be raiding a lot. And if we're raiding a lot... Then I might have a crap ton. I'm just going for the, uh, the velvet one here. Losing me a lot of money. I'm aware. Let's go to the tavern. Let's see if there is a person here that we can get as a vessel. Or as a vessel. As a companion of course. Also. I'm, I'm really hoping that I finally nailed. My microphone setting. The reason is I had to reteach myself, and that sounds so stupid. I had to reteach myself to be speaking at a lot lower volume. I was so used of the fact of just screaming at my mic that, yeah, it's not always that good. So, the Crown of Castile. You are the Lord, that is King... Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh damn. I didn't check. King Alfonso. But that is not correct. Okay. Well. Here it is. We are not going to be worrying about it. If he dies. Then we'll be King Alfonso the Tent. <laughs> oh, what a... M oh. <laughs> oh, I feel so stupid at the moment. Oh, well. Uh, madam, for the morale of the troops. Still looking for a companion, though. Minstrel. There's no one over there. I really want to have more agility. 
Man, this walking is so slow. Let's um, <laughs> let's meet the guy that has the same name as we have. <laughs> I really feel stupid. It is good to see you, my son. Well, actually, we, he could be like, yeah, in, in, in the medieval times, if you had an heir, you would usually also get a spare. Now, his parents were so worried that King Alfonso X, or the first heir, would die, that they actually named their spare, me, also Prince Alfonso X. How, how is that? How is that for a name? <laughs> it's just, it is stupid. Uh, my lord, I would like to have the holy help of brothers. We could do, we could do this, of course, eventually. Do you have a task for me? He wants to have six Alberian military archers. Fine by me. Don't don't I already have these? Still working on it. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, but twenty-seven of favor. That's actually not too bad. Um, there's some more guys up here. Um, yeah, but Sweden is kind of a long ass way around here, dude. Some mistresses here, some baronesses. Awesome. Well, I don't need a mercenary company at the moment. But, let's see, the trip tree. Where did I, where could you find that again? Or isn't it in it? I'm sure there is an option for the troop tree. Troop rebalance? No. Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, maybe with notes. Game log, perhaps? No. Game concept? I'm sure that it, it, it is uh, there somewhere, but I just can't find it right now. But he wanted to have some... Um, some weird as archers, that's, that's fine. Let's see if we can find... Something to fight. Although, with only 72... Hmm, chances are not really stacking up uh, for me. And I would be raiding... Let's check, is there anyone here in Bazaar? No. Is there anyone over here? He's running from one of us. Who are you? You're following some footsteps. Okay, cool. Let's take a hostile action. Let's plunder the village. Maybe we'll have to fight and I will lose all of my units right off the start. Can happen. It can. I make mistakes as well. But we still have the Lancer units enabled, so I can go back to my castle and get these Lancer troops out there. But by the looks of it, I still think we are going to be making it. Really crossing my fingers here, because there's a Lord. He's kind of close. Dude, just hurry up with the loot in. You go loot there. Yes, we did it. Oh man, financially wise, we have been saved. I'm so glad I took that inventory management right now. Okay, let's get rid of the stuff that I will never use like that. I'm not interested in getting rid of my horse though. The butter is almost out, so let's get the grapes, the bread. Yeah. We might want to have a bit more in the future. But yeah, we already raided. Oh, there's... Oh, I've completely forgotten. We got the manners. Oh, I'm so glad that I just saw, uh, saw that. Because I completely forgot that you can have a manor near your castle. And that is just a massive, massive money maker. It's really, really good. Already these guys don't have any anything to pay me. Okay, let's return. Let's go to the hall. Oh, wow. Armor. And arms. Wow, I've completely forgot that it takes some time before they actually get 
some money but we can go to Valencia over there let's go to Valencia it's time to make ourselves some more cash some stone horn stone heart can let's see one of your soldiers succumbs to his wounds from previous battle um, take his kid in gold he was after all just a soldier a mere pawn he would oh Let's uh, do that. Let's gain some more honor, some more morale. Morale is so important in this mod pack, guys. It's always so underappreciated. Even by me. I, I, I do complain a lot, usually, about morale. Because it, it, it's so difficult to deal with that. At least for me, it is. I'm sure you all are pros in here, and I'm just making videos for your small entertainment. But still, uh, slow and steadily, we are climbing up the ladder there, of the uh, financial ladder. So what I will do is I will sell the rest of this stuff off camera. I will be looking for that trip tree. And if I can find it, I'll show you next time. Now, there's two episodes a week. And just count this video and then three days and there should be another one. Okay, as for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this new series. Please, if you have enjoyed, consider giving it a thumbs up. And I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.